Follow the child is one of those Montessori terms that a lot of people use. But do we really understand what it means? That's what I'm here to explain to you. Now, follow the child is one of the things that Montessori does very differently from traditional education. In a traditional classroom, all 20 children are doing the same thing at the same time. But in a Montessori classroom, as a teacher, we'd be following 20 different paths of children doing 20 different things. Now, why do we do that? That's because in Montessori, we believe that every child is unique and they have their own natural pattern and they will show us what it is that they want to learn and what they need to be challenged in. Maria Montessori so beautifully said, follow the child and they will show you what they need to do, what they need to develop in themselves and what area they need to be challenged in. And so that's why in our classrooms, we follow our child's interests. Now, there is a huge misconception. A lot of people feel that follow the child means we let the child do anything they want whenever they want to. This could not be further from the truth. Following the child means we are tapping into the child's interest, into each child's interest that I am looking after. So that means for me as a teacher or even as a parent, I'm doing a lot of observation. I'm trying to figure out what does my child have an interest in? What are they finding challenging? What do they need more help in? And those are the activities that I provide for them. That's how I modify my shelves to provide for their needs. And then I sit back and I observe some more. And then I see what else my children are showing me and I modify my shelves again. So it's back and forth. We're observing, we are modifying, and we are providing for the needs of each and every individual child in our classroom. We are catering to every unique child. Isn't that magnificent? Does this not allow for every child to feel successful and empowered as a learner? That is the beauty of Montessori. So, for those of you who are trying out Montessori at home, this is easy as can be. Set up your shelf, or if you have a Montessori set up already, observe your child. That is the key. Watch what interests them. When you go out on a walk with your child or you're you know, out in nature, observe your child and they will show you what they're interested in. You will see through their actions what challenges them and where they need help. And then you provide activities and opportunities in accordance with their needs. So let's all make learning successful and enjoyable for our little ones by following them. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day. Please do subscribe to our channel so we can come back and keep sharing more with you. And hit the like button before you leave.